Getting rich in Pet Simulator 99 is a lot easier than you think, and to prove how easy it is, I have three rules for flipping exclusive eggs that you can use right now to guarantee you some major profits. Knowing how to buy low and sell high is not just a useful skill, but it is an absolute goldmine for the richest players in the game, and you guys can use this too with the help of these three rules that I have. And to do this, you do not need a billion diamonds or you don't need to buy every game pass in the game. You can do this method starting with just 35 million diamonds and the sky is the limit with how much profit you can make. And if you want to do this method but don't have enough diamonds to buy an exclusive egg to start, I am currently giving away exclusive eggs to three people on my Discord for absolutely free. All you got to do is join with the link down in the description below. So hopefully that will help you out and if you are new to the channel make sure you are subscribed for the most unbiased information to help you succeed in pet simulator 99 now let's get right into it so you guys can make some insane profit and get those pets that you've always wanted now above all methods in this game flipping is the best way to make diamonds by a long shot and a lot of people think that you need to buy all the game passes and do a whole bunch of other useless things but honestly, if you wanted to make the most diamonds, just spending all of your time in the trading plaza buying and selling and flipping things is going to make you an absolute load of gems. And I actually know quite a few people that are actually richer than me who have not spent a dime on this game. So it is possible for you guys to get absolutely wealthy by just doing methods like this. Now, something I always suggest for market methods is that if you do want to do methods like this, you should have a dedicated selling account that you use to purely try to trade things in the market 24 seven. As you guys know, this is purely my trading account. All I do is trade on this account pretty much 24 seven. You can find me in here just trading, selling, buying things. So, so off the bat, you are gonna get a lot of benefits from having an account like this because while your account is doing this, you can have an account grinding or opening eggs or doing whatever you usually do in the game. And while you're doing that, you can buy and sell things to make a big profit. So let me just preface it by saying that. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick overview of how flipping can look and how you guys can make a ton of diamonds by doing this. But the main content of this video are actually going to be the tips that I'm going to give after this overview. So wait for that. But essentially, egg flipping is so lucrative because people that buy and gamble with eggs are often willing to spend millions of diamonds over the current wrap value when they are collecting these eggs to open them. As you guys know, it can take quite a while to get a certain amount of eggs, especially if you are planning to open a bunch of these. So a lot of people that do try to open these eggs are willing to spend over wrap so they can just get them and stop server hopping. As well as that, the type of people that do gamble in this game with exclusive eggs often have a ton of diamonds and they're already wasting their diamonds on these eggs in the first place. So, so they usually don't care if they are just spending a few million over wrap. Now, the easiest and most consistent way to flip eggs is going to be by flipping the current one that is in the exclusive shop. Now, the reason for this is that people usually buy either the forever pack or the starter bundles, and they are able to get a bunch of these exclusive eggs. And oftentimes they kind of just want the diamonds from them. So most of the time they're actually underpricing these eggs so that they could sell pretty quickly. And because of this, it's really easy to find deals on these black hole eggs. And at the same time, if somebody's looking to buy a bunch of these to open in game, they're willing to pay a few million over wrap most of the time. So I could probably sell these pretty easily for 40 million at the current 38.5 million wrap value. And if I do server hop enough, I think I could confidently find these for 38 million or 38.4 million at the exact wrap value. So I could consistently make a few million profit by just doing this in server hopping. And right now I'm heavily invested in these sketch eggs for quite a few reasons that I'm gonna go over in the rest of this video. But the main idea is that these sketch eggs were actually purchased a lot less than some of the previous exclusive eggs that were dropped. And for that reason, I do believe that the price of this egg is gonna reach the prices of some of the other less bought eggs. So at the moment, I'm currently buying these for wrap value and reselling them for about 39.9 
1.9 million, which is almost a 3 million profit on each egg, which is actually very nice and it does add up when you are doing a lot of eggs. As you guys can see, I have about 30 something eggs probably here and I bought pretty much all of these at wrap value. So that's going to be a very lucrative trade for me, but there's going to be a different story for each of these eggs and what you guys should do. So that's why you're going to need these rules. Now, my first tip for flipping exclusive eggs is probably one of the biggest mistakes that people do make when beginning to do this, and that is holding on to your eggs as a long-term investment. Now, I know this is counterintuitive as I am making a tutorial on how to invest in these eggs, but trust me here, the exclusive egg market in this game is probably one of the most volatile markets for pretty much absolutely no reason. And obviously there are some actual reasons for this that we will get into in a second. But the reason I suggest that you do not hold on to these eggs is because of how volatile this market is. And sometimes the prices of these eggs can go down seemingly for no reason or some other reason that you would never be able to predict. In my opinion, investing in eggs is something that you should pretty much only do to immediately flip them. Now, the beauty of exclusive eggs and the exclusive eggs market is that over time, the overall supply of these eggs are going to be going down as more people open them. So obviously for all of these eggs that were sold in the past, there is no way for you to get these eggs back again. So as soon as one person goes ahead and opens one, that means the overall supply of these things does go down, which means over time, the prices of these eggs will likely go up as the overall supply of them continues to go down. But unless you are planning on holding these eggs for months, I think in the medium to short term, these eggs are extremely volatile and tend to go up or down in price for a variety of reasons that are completely out of your control. Now, I'm going to have a picture on the screen here, which is the chart of the happy computer over the last month. Now, I want you to look at this chart and look at how smooth the chart is. The reason why I like investing in huges is because the overall price of these things are very predictable compared to something like the exclusive eggs. The reason that the line on this chart is so much smoother is because when the price begins to increase for huges, the price typically continues to increase. And then as the price begins to decrease, the price likely is going to decrease as well, which leads to that smooth up and down chart, which is actually a little bit more predictable than something like the exclusive eggs. So if we compare this chart in the same time frame to one of the exclusive eggs, like the fruit egg, we can see that the fruit eggs chart is a lot more volatile with big ups and big downs, creating that like jagged chart. Now, the reason why this is bad is because you could be buying these exclusive exclusive eggs when it is at the peak of one of these jagged movements, which pretty much just means that the price of this egg could spike down at any moment. And overall is why I do suggest that you just buy these eggs and then immediately try to flip them for a certain amount of diamonds. So for example, especially with the exclusive eggs that are still in the exclusive shop, which are the black hole eggs currently, because someone can go ahead and buy these in the exclusive shop right now, they could enter a lot of supply of these into the market and pretty much crash the overall value, which I'm not saying will happen, but this is just another one of the risks and why you should immediately try to flip for whatever current price it's at now. So if you did go ahead and buy this black hole egg, for 38 million, let's say, I would immediately go ahead and try to flip this for something like 40 million, just so I can get that profit and not potentially lose out if the price of this does end up falling. Now, obviously this is not always the case. This is only for the actual exclusive eggs that are still in the exclusive shop. Now there are some exceptions to this rule. I would say don't hold eggs unless you have a reason. For example, I've personally been holding and flipping and selling these sketch eggs, but that's because these were recently removed from the exclusive shop. So that's why holding on to them for a period of time actually isn't a bad thing because there is an actual reason why I'm holding on to them and I think they will go up in the short term, but I'll get more into that in a second. But with other exclusive eggs like the Valentine's egg, for example, I wouldn't hold on to these for too long because the price action of these eggs is just going to be reflected on whoever is holding them and whoever really wants them. 
So they could go up or down in the short term for seemingly no reason. But if you are going to hold on to these four months at a time, in a few months, these probably are going to be worth more. So they are probably safe if you are holding on to them for that long, which pretty much leads me into my second rule for flipping these exclusive eggs. And that's to know what you're buying. So there is a ton that goes into investing in these exclusive eggs. And that's because there are a lot of factors like how long it was available in the exclusive shop when these eggs were released as well as how many of these things that people actually ended up buying when they were available and on top of that the actual pets that are in these eggs do have a decent effect on the actual price of them so there are a ton of factors that go into how these things are priced and how much they will sell for in the future now on the screen here i'm gonna have this very useful chart that i personally made that basically has a ton of factors that actually do affect the value of these eggs so as you guys can see i have an existence number on this chart which basically just tracks how many of the 85 percent exclusive pet exist in the game because that's actually a metric for how we can see how many of these things have actually been opened and according to this data the top three Three eggs that have been opened for all time are the fruit eggs the dragon eggs and then the superhero eggs now in the next column you can see that i have the wrap values of these eggs currently at the time of recording this and you can see that the higher number of existence of these pets generally kind of has an impact on the overall price because if you look at the wrap value of the fruit egg which is pretty much the second oldest exclusive egg that we do have in pet simulator 99 the value of it is super low and that's because of how many of these things were bought and how many of these things were actually opened when they were for sale now there is a lot that goes into these existence numbers like how popular the game was at the time how much people actually liked the egg and ended up buying the egg from the exclusive shop as well as a few other factors now there is a pretty strong correlation between how many of these pets that exist with the price of the egg overall but it is not a hundred percent because if we look at something like the christmas egg it is a relatively high price compared to how many of these things were actually opened in the game but it is a relatively important factor to consider when buying or investing in some of these eggs the next stat on this chart is how old the egg is and when it was released into the game now, most people that end up investing in exclusive eggs try to buy the oldest eggs in the game because they think the older, the more valuable these eggs will be. But you guys will see very soon that this is actually not the case. And the actual release date of these eggs is probably one of the least consistent factors that actually factor into the price of the eggs. As the wrap value of the fruit egg is actually cheaper than the current exclusive egg that is in the exclusive shop right now, the black hole egg. But the most consistent statistic in that chart is actually the last column that is how long the egg was actually in the exclusive shop for. So there is almost a direct correlation with how long it was available and the price of the egg. All of the eggs that were only available for an extremely limited amount of time rose up in price like crazy for example the christmas egg was only available for seven days before it was taken out of the exclusive shop and the price of that egg is one of the highest of the exclusive eggs that were released in pet simulator 99 the only other ones at that price range are the dragon egg which is actually the oldest and probably is why that egg is worth a little bit more but then we also have the valentine's egg which actually had the second shortest availability in the exclusive shop at 14 days but it was also purchased a lot less than the other eggs with only 300,000 of the 85 percent exclusive being opened in the game but nowadays the last three exclusive eggs that were released we've had in the exclusive shop for three weeks at a time so this factor actually hasn't played a big role in the prices of the last few exclusive eggs but with the addition of weekly updates coming back to the game we will have to wait and see how long big games intends to keep these eggs in the exclusive shop i highly doubt that the big games is going to be releasing a new exclusive egg for each update every week but 
but honestly it would probably generate them a lot of money so i don't really see why they wouldn't do it but it is something we are gonna have to wait and see about now if we do look at how much of the 85 percent exclusive exists for the sketch egg it actually has the lowest existence out of all of the most recent exclusive eggs besides the valentine's egg and the valentine's egg was only available for two weeks so for that reason is why i do think the price of the sketch egg is gonna rise pretty significantly and is one of the main reasons why i have been investing so heavily and i actually do think this is a decent long-term investment now of course we did have that big controversy in the game when these exclusive eggs were in the shop and we were seeing the lowest player counts that we've ever seen in the game so i think these factors could be one of the reasons why there is such a low exist count for these eggs and overall i'm just pretty confident that these eggs are going to keep rising in price but even though i am pretty comfortable holding them long term i'm also just flipping them at the same time which is making me additional diamonds on my investment in these eggs that was a lot of yapping but for this rule i just want you guys to look at all these factors about these specific eggs before you're actually investing in them if you plan to hold them for a decent amount of time or if you just want to figure out if the price is going to go up or down in the short term and finally my third and last tip for making insane profit while flipping eggs in this game is that you need to consider the costs of actually doing these trades now personally i do actually break this rule because i only trade using my booth but as you guys know there is now a tax on the booths of one percent so every time you sell an egg for example, if you sell this egg for 37 million, you're going to get a tax of 373,000 diamonds, which actually doesn't sound like too much when you consider the price of the egg, but this does have an effect on how much you should be charging when flipping things. So that means if you are getting taxed 400,000, that means you need to price the sale price at least 400,000 more than what you purchased for it. Now, I hope when you do go flipping that you are trying to get more than 400k profit at a time, but this is something extremely important to consider and you can actually negate these taxes if you just go ahead and do these trades directly with the person now one thing you can do is just go into the trading plaza and basically just advertise that you are selling eggs for a certain price and then if someone wants to buy them you can trade them directly and not have to pay that one percent tax which actually does add up especially if you are flipping a lot of eggs or doing this method a lot of times saving an extra 400k on each transaction does add up and is going to enable you to buy and sell more eggs in the future so this is definitely something to consider if you are just beginning and want to make the most possible and another way you can do this is by joining a discord like discord.gg slash mateo or just the big games discord and look for people to sell these eggs to now make sure you are careful when you are messaging people do not click on any links. I would just always have the rule in this game to never ever click on any links no matter how safe they might look because a lot of these links can be very deceiving and you can end up getting caught up if you don't look carefully enough. If someone is telling you to join their game, just type in their username in Roblox and just join off them. Don't click any links to profiles or anything like that just to be safe but if you are able to sell your egg to somebody saving that 400k does add up especially if you are only doing this with a few eggs at a time now personally i don't do this i just sell at my booth and take that one percent tax uh to each of the sales that i do but that's usually just because i'm lazy and sell my eggs overnight while i'm afk and if you don't mind paying that 400k tax you could pretty much just skip this rule but it is something important to consider if you do want to make the most money. Now, that was a ton of yapping, so I hope you at least learned something from all of those rules that I did give you. Remember to join my Discord if you want to enter to win some free exclusive eggs so you can do this method yourself, as well as like the video if it did end up helping you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.